I'm starting off with extra lean ground beef. I'm gonna be putting them in the bowl and I'm putting them in the frying pan. I put a little bit of oil in here and started heating it up. So I cut up one small onion. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper, some Montreal steak spice, and mix it all together. I'm gonna spray the pan again. I just spray it with oil. I rolled up some meatballs. And I still have a lot more to go. Just gonna add them to the pan. You continue filling up the pan with meatballs. And then you just wanna cook the outside on all sides. My meatballs are cooked on each side. I like to leave mine a little brown on some side. I love the crunchiness. Not all the sides you have to do. One side's good enough to get that crunchiness. I'm going to add them to my bowl here. Put them in there and start the mix back in the frying pan and add some more oil to my frying pan. Before I start, I'm going to scrape all these onions into my pot. So I'm just going to spray. I'm not washing it out. I'm just going to continue cooking the same frying pan. i got my meatballs in the frying pan. I'm just going to spray a little oil on top of them as well. And if there's anything left in the bowl, just scrape it into the frying pan, all the rest of the onions. Now it's time for me to make my sweet and sour sauce. I'm doubling the recipe. Um, it's two cups of brown sugar. Now I'm gonna add one cup of vinegar, calls for half a cup, so we're doubling. That's one cup of vinegar. Two cups of water. cup of ketchup so that calls for a full cup of ketchup. Here's my full cup of ketchup that goes in. It calls for two tablespoons of soy sauce so that's four tablespoons. The last ingredient is four tablespoons of cornstarch. You don't want to burn the sauce. Now you can turn your oven, you can preheat it to 350. Look how thick that sauce is. It's not too thick, it's just right. And it tastes good. Now I'm gonna pour the sauce over the meatballs. I've started some potatoes, they're just about done. I cut them up and put them in a pot with a little bit of salt. My potatoes are done now, they're soft. I'm shutting them off and I'm draining them. I'm making stove top stuffing, turkey. I'm just adding a cup of water and some margarine and putting it in the microwave. When your potatoes are done, you just poke and if they go through nice and soft, they're done. I'm just going to add a spoonful of margarine, one egg, and a little bit of milk to start off with. I added some milk to the potatoes and the egg and the butter. Start off with less liquid and see how soft you want your potatoes or you don't want them too runny. I also add a little bit of salt. This is how I like my mashed potato. Nice and creamy, there's no lumps. I did everything just perfect. Since I did the stuffing in the microwave, it's a little bit dry, so I added a little bit more water and some more margarine. 
I forgot to mention I bought this cooked chicken from Safeway. And this is how it all comes together with a bun, not buttered.